Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Mystery of Solaris. The purpose of sci-fi is to view a world from the perspective of its inhabitants. So, let's see here. Today, I'm going to try and find the next... Oh, hey! I can lift things now. Today, I'm going to lift things. So, I very often am wrong about things. This isn't anything to be ashamed of so long as I uh, learn and correct my- Ooh, very. Learn and correct myself. Whoops, wrong button. Well, wrong choice. Anyway, I was saying a thing. What? Nice cave. Today, I'm going to talk about a thing that I was wrong about in the past, in between talking about this game that I'm playing. Huh, I figured this would be the, the same cave. Interesting. I'm going to assume these are health and that I might need them later. Anyway, so what was I talking about? Oh yeah, things I've been wrong about in the past. Specifically, hidden game mechanics. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. So, one time I was railing against the entire concept of hidden game mechanics, hiding mechanics from the players. I was like, it always bad. And a friend gave me a few examples of times when it's not necessarily bad. And so now I must amend that to game mechanics where I don't have any bombs, do I? Game mechanics can be hidden so long as ooh, hiding them enhances rather than detracts from the play experience. My go-to example is Pokemon. Hiding a bunch of mechanics like what natures even do, which I'm not sure they're doing anymore because in Generation 8 you can get mints that tell you exactly what the nature you're using the mint for does. But, you know, just to use that as an example. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have fun solving this maze. Anyway, just to use nature's as an example. The problem with natures was that they affect the competitive portion of the game. So people, so there's a huge difference between people who are in the know and people who aren't in the know. Huh, oh, interesting. Whereas some games like, uh, Oh gosh. What was that game? By the way, a game can enhance the ex if a game can enhance the experience by hiding a mechanic from you and it doesn't affect your ability to play competitively then by all means it should. Okay, so... I cannot move meaningfully while I'm doing this. I'd probably have a better time if I stopped to uh, try and figure out where I want to go. Huh, the bottom right one you can get... Okay, there is one path that leads to it. Let's see... Okay... So, I see... That. And now I'm just being boring because I'm commenting on the paths that I see that lead to it. Let's see here... So... 
Oh, hey. What if I go this way? Wait, did I mess up? Excellent! The bottom right one does not go where I want it to go. Okay, let's see that one on the left. Only one path leads to it, right? So, from that bottom block, you go down to the right. Down, left, up, up and to the right, up and to the right. Right, up, up left, left, down left, up, up, up. Okay, so... Alright, I somehow need to get there. How do I get there? Um, you know, I'm just being boring and commenting on a... Okay, is this the path that I think it is? Yes. Because that one guy took his boomerang back, I have nothing to throw. But if that guy didn't take his boomerang back, there'd be no way for me to, uh... Okay, well, at least I can return here when I have bombs and or something throwable. If he didn't take his boomerang back, there'd be no way for me to, uh... get into this cave in the first place, because I had to give him the boomerang back to get him to open a dungeon for me. So, I guess I'm going elsewhere to lift more things. So, yeah, an idea, not my idea, mind you, but someone else's idea, but one that I keep coming back to. Oh no, I was already at max cash because the max cash is ridiculously low in this game. Anyway, is that any uh, design choice can be a good one provided it serves the right game. Like the example of hidden mechanics, which uh, I was railing against because the examples that I was thinking of at the time felt like they ran counter to the game that they were used in. For example, hidden mechanics in a competitive game that give people who are in the know an advantage. Which can easily become an unfair advantage. Like say in Pokemon, where you'll have someone who goes, Oh hey, I have all these cool Pokemon, I want to go try them out against other people. But you know, they just have some Pokemon they caught in the wild. And even if they are competitively viable, and I'm not going to get into that right now. Because they were just Pokemon they caught and raised on their own. They're not going to stand a chance against competitively viable Pokemon. And the person who is constantly losing is going to have no idea why. And because of that, they can't improve. Unless they go hunting in the right places and find out about Eevees, Ivies, Natures. The game, the Pokemon games are getting better and better about not hiding that from you though. And also making it easier to fix that, fix those on existing Pokemon rather than having to spend hours breeding the perfect Pokemon. You, ha you still have to get your Pokemon to level 100 to fix the Ivies, but individual values, things that your Pokemon are born with that affect uh, their stats by up to 31 points at level 100. Hey, does this go somewhere? It does. Oh yeah, I remember seeing a thing about not fearing the uh, hole near the flower. Huh, I figured I would... Okay, I need fire for this one. I feel like I should be taking notes. Hey, you. 
telepathic booth. Neat. Well, I better go in and see what it is. You don't just call something a telepathic booth and... Alex, do you hear me? It's Grandma Lily. Telepa telepathy, it works. You should pay a visit to the hospital. He has something for you. Oh! I would have completely forgotten about that. Okay, I will visit Sahasrila. And it's a good thing that I visited that booth because I, when I saw telepathy booth, I th thought of a specific thing and it wasn't that thing. Hello. Good job, you managed to overcome the challenges of the forest dungeon. Before resuming your journey, go back to my cave. Perhaps new items found their way down there. If you're lost during your adventure, go visit Grandma Lily east of the village. She's an old friend and knows everything about the area. Right, so your cave, which I'm go I assume I'm going to be revisiting throughout the game as I gain new abilities. Ooh, a bow. Find some arrows and you'll be able to defeat tough enemies from afar. Wow, you really do give me no arrows to start with. Alright, yeah, I assume there is exactly one thing and here for me, and that is the bow, but... I want to make sure... Also, if I can find some arrows, then I can go back to that one weird puzzle place and get more prize. Yep, that is the entirety of what's on offer here. I want Pegasus shoes so I can go fast. Unrelated or the unrelated to what I was saying before. Like many people, I play a variety of games because you know each game scratches a different itch. I wanted to play Final Fantasy VIII, but then I remembered how like slow it feels. And I just played through Pokemon, well not all the way through, I just played through the Crown Tundra and Isle of Armor DLC from Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. And I feel like those were better than the main game. Excellent, I have one arrow that should be all I need. Anyway, played through DLC, right? And I was it more in the mood for something faster paced. I discovered the Mega Man Zero Trilogy. Trilogy? There's four games, that's not a trilogy. The Mega Man Zero series was available... Oh, what? That was just a one-way out thing? Well, isn't that delightful. Now I have to redo all this, because in my hubris, I thought, oh, hey, they'll never, uh, or they'll let me come back anytime I want with that. Anyway, Mega Man Zero. Really fast-paced game. I've been enjoying it. Let's see, I think I want to go here? Yep, and then I want to line up with this, and shoot. And what's here? The rock key. I got the rocky. And then down below it's called the rocks key. The rock key, but where is the right lock? So is it the rock R-O-C-K key? Or is it the rock R-O-C key? Because these imply very different things. Alright, so... Let's see here. What do I want to do next? Well, I want to explore everything I can explore now. I'm kind of sad that 
what I thought was me being clever and getting the stuff early was actually a mandatory experience for what I assume is the next dungeon. Alright, so. Wandering around. There, okay, can't go there until I can jump. One of my favorite items in Zelda games is Rock's Feather. Ah! I'm gonna go check out Billy the Reckless's Reckless Cavern. Okay, yeah. I need something I don't have yet in order to get further into here. Alright. Let's see what else does this open up. Anything over here? Over here. Oh, hey. Ow. Alright, so no, that's no help. How about over here? I... If my memory is accurate, and it isn't necessarily going to be accurate, it's going to require advanced lifting techniques over here. Let's see. Yep, advanced lifting. Alright, so, it was this one, right? So I'm gonna head up and over and up and over. Over here. I'm gonna be sad if I only get one new thing to access with the glove plus bow combination. Mm. Mm. Wow, you blocked my spin attack. That makes me sad. Sheesh, those things notice you from quite far away. Okay, requires advanced lifting and or fire. Requires jumping from the other side. Hey, get, get back. Hitboxes in this game feel kind of wonky. It's probably just me being bad at it though. Alright. Well then... I believe there was something up a uh, cliff here. Oh hey. Is this the rock level? It is. Rock's Cavern. Okay, it is Rock's Cavern, not the Rock Cavern. Okay, that's not a lift puzzle. Um... Let's see here, heading north... ...ish. I can go up to here and see castle bridges ow okay I need to jump to deal with that well maybe not necessarily jump I need something to deal with that ancient castle this castle isn't ancient it's very new who blew up the bridge oh hey Welcome to the ancient royal castle. This is a historical mine. Please refrain from disturbing the surroundings. Know that the surroundings will be very disturbed by my presence. What luxury! This place is magnificent! This castle once belonged to the royal family. Nowadays, tourists from all around Hyrule make the trip to witness the beauty of the place. Alright. Tom, one of our best soldiers, mysteriously disappeared while he was exploring a cave. 
I think he probably died inside that cave. The stairs lead to the upper level and to the balcony. Access is forbidden to the public though. Oh. Can you believe all the efforts that were put into the construction of this castle? I can only wonder how they managed to pull off such wonderful piece of architecture with the means they had at that time. Didn't they have literal magic at that time? Magic in the Zelda universe is ill-defined, which is, you know, perfectly fine because it, the series isn't about magic, it's just a plot device. I'm sorry sir, but you are not allowed to access to the dungeon cells. Oh, that's sad. I mean, the series isn't really about defining the magic. The magic is uh, just another tool we use within the series, so it does whatever a given game needs it to do. And that's perfectly okay. A younger me would have demanded a... Uh, no, you must resolve all ambiguity. But no. No. One must learn to embrace ambiguity. Oh, hey! I guess I'm checking out the dungeon cells, even though they didn't want me to. Take that. Prisoners of the King were held captive inside these dark cells. This looks like a uh, telepathy thing, but instead it's a sign. Let's see, can't open that. Heading down here. Interesting how with the king dead they just abolished the prison system. It's almost like it wasn't entirely necessary or something. Or there they have a different prison somewhere else. And the king's prison was for political prisoners. Alright, there's two stairs up. I'm gonna take the nearby one. Okay, so, nope! Don't want to deal with that guy yelling at me for being in here. Although it's hardly my fault that they left a hole in the ground the size of an entire human. That could swallow you up and knock you down here. Alright, so... Where was the first way up? And what's... Did I come through? Oh, that just leads out here. So I can sneak out. Neat. Weird, but neat. Oh hey, now I can access parts of the castle that I am hypothetically not supposed to access. Cool. Okay, so what's up here? What a magnificent cannon! You had better not be an enemy of the king. This is a cannon? Looks to me like a bell. Mostly one of those S one of those I cannot interpret what I'm seeing on the SNES things. Okay, so I guess that's it for exploration. I'm going to make my way back to the rock's cavern, and uh, then we'll start from there next time. Yep. There might, there's probably stuff that I missed, but I don't know, after a certain amount of messing around and not really getting anything for it, I just want to do something that is... Whoa, look at that. Whoops. Save no. Alright, join me next time when I explore Rock's Cavern.